Egypt is the latest Arab country to attack the Islamic State. Its fighter planes bombed IS targets on Monday after the IS released a video purportedly showing the beheading of 21 Egyptians kidnapped in Libya earlier this year. The airstrikes have been welcomed by many Egyptians. We agree on the attacks. We want to hit hard the ISIS fighters who killed our boys. We cannot just sit and watch Egyptians being killed and do nothing about it. Egypt joins Jordan and the United Arab Emirates in direct strikes against the IS. They have attacked IS positions in Iraq and Syria as part of an international coalition. Egypt had not joined the coalition because it wants to include Libya in those attacks. But there are some concerns Egypt cannot go it alone in Libya. Egypt is fighting terrorism inside the country and cannot open several fronts at the same time without international assistance. Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri will attend the anti-terrorism summit in Washington and the UN Security Council meetings in New York to push for another coalition to intervene in North Africa. Egypt is also working on the Arab front. We discussed several ideas, such as the formation of a quick intervention force and joint Arab military force in coordination with the Gulf states and also Jordan. Sensing the danger is close, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain announced they will support any initiative in the region. The Arab League, the umbrella of all Arab states, has welcomed the new trend. The Arab League Secretary General agrees to all the procedures and has sent letters to all the Arab foreign ministers calling for a collective action through a joint Arab force to fight terrorism. Terrorism has engulfed the region, but unlike recent events where they usually depend on the West, Arabs this time might unite and take matters in their own hands. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.